11.25, his new single, I Want Crazy, Hunter Hayes, and we have Hunter in the studio with us here this morning. How's it going? How's it going? Very good, Greetings. very good. Now, you, you were just talking about that song as we were listening to it, and you were yeah. saying, where was that recorded? Well, yeah, that, that song, I was, well, it's funny because I was listening to the, to the solo. The solo, like the mandolin solo, there's parts of the song, the riff, actually, in the intro and the outro of the song, um, was actually, they, all of those pieces were actually recorded in a bus, in a tour bus, on the road. And some of that was in Canada. Some know. of that was here, yeah. I did some some of the work on that tune, I think, in Vancouver, back when we were in Vancouver, um, which was a, quite a while back. But it was in, at the time, it was just a demo. I was just working on a demo. My only goal was to, to, to have a decent enough recording that I could play it for the rest of the label. And so they could hear it and kind of you know get a, get a vibe for it or whatever. And we ended up keeping a lot of those tracks. Mm. Worked out pretty well. Yeah, it worked out great, apparently. <laughs> now, you said you've been to Edmonton before. Of course, you got that big show at Rexall Place tonight. But uh, tell us about your first visit to Edmonton and you came to West Edmonton Mall. Absolutely. Well, this is the only this is the only part I, I, I guess this is really just the only part I remember maybe because we came in like really late the night before and we woke up really well not too too early the next morning. <laughs> Thank heavens. Because I think the morning before we had woken up at like two o'clock in the morning but but we were here and literally this is this is where we came. This was our first location. This was my first my first concert. Well, we're happy to here have you back. Mall. Happy to have you back. Just, just down down that way. <laughs> no. Quite a, quite a ways. Usually the people I interview here at CFCW are a little bit older. You're 22, and I think you're the envy of all 22-year-old guys because... I'll take 21. I'm tech, 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 technically 21, but I'll okay. take 22. Okay, and 21. Yeah. <laughs> and you're the envy of, well, 20, you're the envy of anybody in their 20s, any dude in their 20s, <laughs> because you toured with Taylor Swift, uh, and now yeah. you're on the road with Carrie Underwood. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Pretty, pretty good way to start. You know, we started with, with, with Miss Swift. Um, and uh, that was uh, that was my first tour like ever. Like I got the call for that tour before I even had a single out. Like a strong morning, we had planned a release, but we hadn't really released it yet. So it was so funny, and not funny, but like I mean, it was definitely like a, a leap of faith on her part. But um, but I'm really glad she uh, she took the chance. And then we uh, we ended up touring a lot last year, and obviously got getting the call for the for the Carrie Underwood tour. And this was a little bit different. Obviously, this was you know we are uh, we were we were sort of uh, what you I guess what you call direct support. I don't know. Anyway, we got to open for Carrie. On this tour, d directly open for Carrie, and and that's 95 days now. Wow. 95 tour dates. So this is 95. So if you come to the show tonight, we don't have it together yet. Then I don't know <laughs> what we've done wrong, uh, but we've really been trying, and I think we might have it close to close to right. I don't think you ever have it right in music, right? You just keep searching. That's the fun part of it. Well, let's talk about <laughs> your debut album, self-titled album. Uh, there's a couple of number one hits on that, three Grammy nominations. Uh, when I found yeah. out that you wrote or co-wrote every song, co-produced the album, you played every instrument, is that right? <laughs> yeah. You just don't hear things like that from any artist. I was going to say, I know what you're thinking, he's got to be a control freak, <laughs> that's the only <laughs> way that this would happen. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I did the record the way I was comfortable making it, and I'm, I'm really surprised that that happened, because, you know, obviously going from making demos in, in my little home studio to making a record with Dan Huff was a total total jump, you know, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, it was definitely one of those things where it's like, I'm so comfortable working sort of by myself in the studio making demos and whatever not, it's like, that's how I, you know, obviously, like I was talking about Crazy on the Road, like, that's that's my world, man, that's, that's what I do, it's like, I write and I just record, and by no means am I good at, you know, any of these <laughs> instruments, I'm just, I'm just really passionate about, about the demos and how they come out, and I think that led to a sort of um, do-it-yourself process, uh, which was way more efficient, I mean, way more, um, Cost efficient, mm -hmm. not efficient necessarily, because it took me eight months to do this record, but um, and then another month for the encore uh, pieces. But you know, it's like, man, there's just something, there's just something really relaxing about getting to work on a record in all those different areas. You know, you get to wear different hats. You know, when you get bored of one, you go put on another. Yeah. You know, when I get bored of playing guitar, I just go play something else. Or when I get bored of writing, you know what I mean? It's like it's just whatever, whatever you feel like, you, whatever moves you at that moment to be creative, you can do that. And I think that's such a a great freedom, if anything. It's not. It's a responsibility as well, because you got to make sure that you you don't make everything sound the same. You know that was the biggest problem was playing all the instruments. It's like it's so easy to make everything sound exactly the same, like the same guy, because it is. <laughs> but um, but it was a great challenge, and I think you know Dan Huff really challenged me in a lot of different ways, and he continues to do that, um, which is why I was really excited to work on this sort of the pieces for the encore, going back in after two years after making the record. And uh, and re and redoing some things and doing some things for the first time, including crazy, you know, it's like that was um, such a fun experience for me. Well, we are chatting with Hunter Hayes. He's opening for Carrie Underwood tonight at Rexall Place, and we're going to get to another one of his songs. We'll chat more with Hunter in just a little bit.